The city of Indianapolis is on a mission to make our community safer. Millions of dollars are being invested in crime prevention programs. One of those programs is called the Peacemaker, sending people out into the streets to try and stop crime before it starts. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson is finding out tonight how big of an impact the program is making. Recent gun violence, including two teenagers and a police officer being shot, has upset the community and city leaders. The city now has 41 peacemakers who say they're doing all they can to make a difference. We work every day, 40, 50 hour week, so I definitely think that we're making a difference. We have uh, more programmings coming out of the city as it pertains to youth than ever before. Sharday Hoskins is from the far east side. She started as a peacemaker in December of 2019 and now oversees the program. Peacemakers are hired by the city of Indianapolis and tasked with walking neighborhoods, showing up to crime scenes as support and helping people at risk of falling into a lifestyle of crime or being a victim of crime find the resources they need to succeed. I would say that it never gets easier. Of course, you know, something like what just happened, but um, we're definitely making strides. John Jones is one of the city's newest members to hit the streets. I actually went to a few crime scenes and uh, funerals just to make sure you know that everything's going okay. Violence across Indianapolis has decreased since last year, but it's still not where city or community leaders want it to be. The streets, are, they're, they're taking over. How do we reverse this trend? There have been at least 37 homicides this year, four of the victims less than 18. On Monday night, two teenagers were shot and killed at an east side park. Anytime there's a loss of life, particularly when the victims are 14 and 15 years old, it is profound uh, and it affects an entire community. Mayor Hogsett says by investing in millions of dollars in violence prevention programs like the Peacemakers, he's hoping to help change the narrative. Gun violence uh, continues to be a challenge. Um, the peacemakers are part of the resolution. Um, adding uh, ad additional police officers, I think, uh, will help. Peacemakers say while they can't stop all of the violence, they're confident they're saving lives. It's important because a lot of us guys come from the same environment, from those same um, growing up in single parent homes and um, needing someone to look up to and things like that. And so. so is very um, needed for our community. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. The mayor's office says last year there were only around 12 peacemakers and that number nearly tripled at the beginning of the year. The city is hopeful it will have 50 by this summer. The mayor's office says it has seen an influx in applications for the program.